Welcome to the season finale of the Superhuman Livecast with David Wong. You made it this far. We're episode 8, the final chapter of the Superhuman series. So today, we are going to show some very powerful and actually can be dangerous information that's going to absolutely transform your life. So as a caveat, before we begin, just to let you know is that this webinar is not for everyone. We're going to be talking about some very of this world topics. And a lot of people will not be able to accept this. A lot of people will not be able to accept what I'm about to show you today. A lot of people will not be able to comprehend and believe what I'm going to say. But let me tell you, what I'm going to tell you today, what you're about to learn is the absolute truth about reality and the absolute truth about what you are capable of. So in the emails that went out, I asked a question, what are humans and what are you capable of? Think about that. Like, what are we actually capable of? Are we just humans here that come to earth, get born, uh, just find food, and then we live a life, we have offspring, and then we die? Is that, is that all? Or is there more to that? Is there more to life? And is there more power within ourselves than just living and dying? Who thinks that we have more abilities and more power than what normal people and what society tells us we do. Well, I'm gonna show you some very exciting and interesting and groundbreaking science that has shown that we, our minds, are a lot more powerful than most people believe. So far, throughout these series, I've revealed to you many different ways of becoming superhuman. We covered how to become a superhuman with our physical abilities. So have super physical strength or have super physical speed or stamina. And then also show you how to have superhuman healing abilities to be able to use energy that comes naturally from your body to heal yourself or to heal other people. So superhuman healing. Then I showed you how to have superhuman intuition and superhuman abilities to manifest things. Just like, like Tony Stark or just like all the um, very successful people in this world like right now, like Elon Musk, who invented or who, who he didn't invent the car, but he basically had a vision that there was going to be this electric car to basically change the way that we drive and get from place to place. And he's still making waves with what he's doing. So I showed you how to have that superhuman type of um, inspiration and superhuman way to manifest things into reality, manifest what you Envision, manifest what you meditate, and manifest what you are um, inside yourself into reality and into physical reality. Okay, so today is the final chapter. We're going to reveal to you how you can become superhuman or get superhuman psychic ability or have superhuman mind power. Okay, who wants to have superhuman mind power? And in the email, I said, in this in this webinar and in this live cast, we're going to show you how you can activate your superhuman DNA, how you can activate your super intuition, super intellect, super intelligence, and super human ability to, to see what other people can see, so to, to see the invisible, um, superhuman senses. Okay. So who, who watch superhuman movies, but when we come to, um, superhuman senses, like what's the first, Superhero that comes to mind. Okay, superhuman senses, like super senses. Spider Man, right? Spider Sense. That's the first superhero that comes to mind. What's another one? Superman, right? Superman also. Superman can do everything. Bionic woman, superwoman, Jesus, yes. So they all have super senses. How about Daredevil? Daredevil also had super senses, didn't he? So all these superhumans. Simeon Toko, okay. So there's lots of different superheroes with super senses. For example, there's Super uh, Superman and then there's also Spider-Man. So Daredevil, what is his special ability? Well, he became blinded from an accident and after he woke up from his coma, he developed the ability to see without using his eyes. So in the comics, they call it radar sense. And Spider-Man, when he got bitten by the, the radioactive spider, when he woke up, 
he got all the spider abilities, but also had spider sense, which is ability to feel that something was happening before it happened, or to to be able to sense danger uh, without consciously uh, being aware of danger. So some other mechanism inside of him, some other kind of mental power allowed him to sense it, uh, um, things unconsciously and be able to you know get out of the way of the danger. Now throughout history, there actually have been many um, people who have been able to see without using their eyes. Okay, so there's a Japanese movie, uh, well, not a Japanese movie, but a Japanese swordsman in the 1500s, and his name is Toda Seigan. Um, and throughout his lifetime, he began to lose his eyesight, but he still needed to defend himself. So he taught himself how to fight with a short sword without using, using his eyes. So just from his senses, he was able to fight with the sword. And there was a movie that was created called... Um, Okay, there's a movie called Zatoichi. It's very violent, lots of blood. I don't know if it's uh, suitable for children. But it basically, it's based on this swordsman, which was, act was just actually um, from history, who was able to defeat many people, even though he was blind. There's also the um, King of Bohemia, which is John the Blind, who rode famously into battle, even though he was blind and was able to defeat many people. Many Bible scholars also say that Goliath was actually blind as well. From these stories, we start to kind of um, get the idea that there's people who are able to perceive their surroundings in a way that regular people or people who don't have that ability can perceive. You guys have uh, watched The Matrix, the movie, The Matrix. So here's another representation of someone who's able to see something in a way or a reality that other people cannot see. Now, throughout history, since uh, Isaac Newton or um, Rene Descartes, they uh, argued that human beings are separate from the world around us. So, you know, based on Newtonian physics, they say, and it has been accepted by most people, that the Earth and the world is separate from us humans, and everything is separate from each other. But we're finding out through quantum physics and through quantum mechanics that that is not true and in fact that we as humans and actually everything in the universe is connected to each other through something called quantum entanglement we are all connected to each other it's proven by science it's proven by quantum physics that um, our consciousness is actually also connected to the entire universe okay and i'll explain to you what that means so not only are things and physical things like, for example, two electrons, once they become entangled with each other, they will also always be in sync with each other, no matter how far the distance is. And they will be in sync with each other, regardless of how um, the distance and also regardless of time. So that means that if one electron was affected, even if another electron was light years away, it would be affected at zero time. So there's no gap in, in the there's no time gap. It, there's no, there's no, it's faster than the speed of light. There's no time that's needed for them to communicate with each other. They're in sync in zero time. Does that make sense? So not only are electrons in sync and entangled in the quantum fashion, us, our consciousness is also entangled in that way. Okay, so this may sound a little bit hard to understand, but just follow me and then it's going to make sense. Okay, so in the concept of Reiki, energy healing, uh, and many other practices like Qigong and Prana um, and lots of kinds of meditation, is that the foundation is that we are all connected to this universal source energy. Is that the whole universe is connected and then has this energy that we can tap into. And then when our minds can tap into this energy or connect with it, then we access all this knowledge and we access all this universal energy that we can actually channel through ourselves. We can actually channel it, we can actually use it and harness it for our pur own purposes. And that's what this whole series is about, is how to tap into this chi energy, this universal energy, and then being able to transform yourself and be able to transform anyone and be able to transform the world.
Okay, so if you were here last week, we talked about the Chi Life 9000 is my our vision uh, as, a, as a group, as a community, to have 9000 people to be able to use this and tap into this energy using our, our technologies because let me people, you have this, this ability, everybody has this ability, everybody has Chi energy, everybody has this universal source connection, but then it's very difficult these days, especially with um, 5G, all the radiation, Wi-Fi, all the GMO foods that are basically bombarding us with negative frequencies and negative energy. And why not have a technology that fights back, that brings you back to that natural superhuman power state that everybody's born with. So that's what my vision is, is to have 9,000 people be able to do that. And why 9,000 is because 9,000 is the number th that is needed to create change in the whole entire planet of 7.8 billion people. Okay, there's a book that um, I really recommend to you guys. It's called, um, uh, it's called The Field by Lynn McTaggart. And in it, she says that at our most elemental, we are not a chemical reaction, but an energetic charge. Human beings and all living things are a coalescence of energy in the field of energy connected to every other thing in the world. That's right, we're not chemical. We are actually more an energetic charge than a chemical reaction. And then many people, many doctors are gonna tell you, well, that doesn't make any sense. We never learned that in our science books. We never learned that when we got our you know, doctor degree or whatever degree they got. Well, that's because they never taught, we were never taught that. But it's actually proven that chemical processes are actually 10 times less effective than energetic processes. They've done studies and shown that sending an electrical, I mean an energetic signal to the body is 10 times more efficient than using a chemical reaction. So what are chemical reactions? That means pills, medication, injections, right? So far, most of medical science has been based on chemical reactions. Uh, or you know, like physical, like cutting off. Like if some, you have a cancer, they'll physically remove it. If you have a cancer, they will physically try to like blast it with radiation and try to kill everything in in its path with radiation. Uh, or they use chemicals trying to poison or burn out that whatever that uh, problem is. So that's the that's what major conventional medicine is based on. It's a chemical process. But now we're finding, and science is now discovering. Uh, it's already discovered, but now it's becoming more mainstream that we don't need chemical reactions. We actually more efficiently um, can use energetic frequencies in order to do the same thing. So now there's many people using frequencies to target cancer cells and to kill them, just eradicate them with just a frequency and also um, be able to support many of the uh, body processes, uh, enhance the cell cell function and enhance DNA function and enhance uh, brain wave and all that. So we based all of our technology on that concept is to, is to use energy instead of using a chemical reaction to cause, uh, uh, you know, to, to improve our uh, body's own natural processes. Chemical versus energy uh, systems is that energetic systems win. Many people say, well, I don't believe in energy. I don't believe in this mind power thing. I don't believe in any of this like superhuman power or the ability for the mind to do so so many things, which I'm gonna show you what they are. But if you don't believe it, guess who does? Governments believe it. And why did I say that? Well, because in the 1940s and 50s, there's a, um, there's a government program called MK Ultra. I think many of us have heard of this. We've probably seen some like old spy movies that talk about this. And basically it was a, it's a program that was spending millions and millions of dollars at that time. So in equivalent, it would be like billions, of, it could be billions of dollars now. So millions of dollars in the 1940s and 50s uh, for the purpose of mind control, consciousness manipulation, and to alter physical and mental states using just the mind. And they developed substances and they developed many things to enhance the consciousness of their uh, these psychic spies, so to speak. They also was a Stargate project and they focused on the research of remote viewing, the ability to see sites or get information or events that are far away using psychic powers. And these are all classified documents that have been released and that have been declassified, showing that the government spent millions of dollars into these projects and then they actually were quite successful. They, had some, they were able to uh, identify the location of crashed airplanes 
or bases or what's inside the bases and what's underground, which was not um, open to anybody and only very few people in the government actually knew. And they brought in these psychic spies or these people who can use remote viewing to actually identify what was in those bases and they were very accurate. Okay, so this is the government that is saying and that actually spent so much money so they believed that it worked. So whether you believe or not, there are these governments that believe that we do have superhuman powers. Okay, there's also superhuman heroes. Uh, I mean, superhuman... Um, okay, who, who's who's seen the word... Uh, this documentary is called Superhuman, the Invisible, Main Invisible. It's quite popular right now. And in it, you'll be quite fascinated and amazed is that they had um, basically schools that teach children or regular people how to see without using their eyes. All right, so they were able to shoot, like shoot this toy gun and knock off these cans with a blindfold on. Okay, so how did they do that? And they're able to draw without, um, they play table tennis with a blindfold on. They're able to ride a bike with a blindfold on. They're able to pass the ball around and play basketball with blindfolds on. And you're probably thinking, well, they probably, uh, some kind of um, senses, they're, they're using their ears or using sound or they're using the, 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 the vibrations in the air or they're using vibration in the skin or, or, they, or they're peeking through their blindfolds. Like, no, that's not happening because can you explain how a kid can read a book perfectly with blindfolds on? Does that make any sense to you guys? How is this possible that somebody can, or a, a person, a child, can read book without using their eyes. Okay, so this is happening. There's schools and there's um, groups that actually teach children and teach people to do this. And these are not just not like a, um, something out of the ordinary uh, or just some prodigy that could do this and only one person to do this. No, they're teaching many, many children to do this. Some of them that were born blind, they were able to teach how to see without using their eyes and teach how to read, teach how to do all these normal activities that normal children cannot do. I mean, that, that blind children cannot do. And, and now they can function normally. What is going on here? Like this is totally blows the mind of any kind of conventional science. It doesn't make any scientific sense how these people or these children are able to see and do things without using their eyes. They did some scientific research on these children. They did some tests. And then what they found was that they were not actually using their eyeballs. Okay, so when we think conventional medicine or basically conventional, any kind of common sense says that if you need to see, you need to use your eyeballs, right? The light goes through your eyeballs, the lenses, and goes through your optic nerve, goes to your brain center, and then it processes that, that light information, and then it creates an image in your brain, and now you can see, right? So that's what conventional science or medicine tells you. But they put these children um, and connected them with EEGs, and then they got them to basically read and, and to attempt to see without using their eyes, and what they found was that the centers of their brain and the centers uh, and their organ that we're using was not their eyes. So they were able to see without using the organs of their eyeball. There was something else that was happening and there's some other mechanism or some other process that was happening. They can call it the psychic process or some kind of um, super consciousness process that allowed them or their brain to receive the signal or receive the information of what they were seeing and what's in front of them with, and then it bypassed their eyeballs. So they didn't even use their eyeballs at all. So they were able to see with what? What was it, what, what did they use to be able to see? I think they use some kind of connection to their consciousness. You can say the third eye, that's right. So there is this, so all of us have this mechanism. We have this ability to see without using our eyeballs. It, it can be trained. And I'm gonna give a little exercise today so that you can have a taste of how you can actually train yourself to do that. Who wants to learn how to see without using their eyeballs? It's completely blindfolded, completely shielded from light, um, without using your ears, without using sound, without using like touch. But using just your super conscious or using your ability that you innately have in order to see, okay? So I'm gonna show you a very, 
simple exercise to do this. And uh, you can even practice with your friends. And it's something that can be trained. There is actual process to train you to do this. That's the interesting, th interesting part, okay? Is that you don't have to be born and have this superhuman ability, which some people are born and, and they can see things that other people can. You don't need to have super uh, uh, radioactive spider bite you so that you become Spider-Man and have this ability. You don't need to have radioactive waste like, like splash onto you and become Daredevil. You can actually train to do this, okay? And I'm so excited about it because I've been um, practicing it and then um, it's, it's just absolutely amazing that to, to realize that, whoa, you know, there's this whole new world out there that is happening um, that exists and that we can tap into with just our consciousness. And then, and it just proves, it just proves without a doubt that there's more to this world than just the material thing, the hard material aspects and things that you can touch. Okay. There's so many, there's so much unseen and there's so much interconnectedness that we are, are you know, we can't even begin to th fathom. Who else thinks that um, energy is is everything? Well, there's also Einstein. He says that uh, everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. So, all the main, the major scientists and the major um, people who are really in the in the cutting edge, they know that this world and this universe is not just all mechanical. It's not just all physical. It's not just atoms and everything. It's actually energy because everything is energy, mind and over matter. Uh, quantum entanglement, we talked about this. So how do you achieve this? How do you achieve these special abilities? How do you get this intuition? How do you get this superhuman vision? Well, the most effective way is to meditate, but not just meditate like the way that everybody else does. Um, there's a very specific way to meditate, okay? And let me show you the exercise that I'm gonna talk about right now, okay? So what I want you to do is, um, I have three colors here. Okay, you guys here, see this? Okay, so let's start with red. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the camera and I want you to look at it and just imagine that this color is, you're absorbing this color into your body. So you can breathe in and then imagine you're just absorbing this color into your hands or into your body into your eyes into your into your face into your whole body okay and i want you to think about i, I want you to feel no don't, don't think i want you to feel what this color feels like so how does this fe color feel like to you can somebody um give me some feedback like how does this feel what does this color feel like fuzzy and warm okay hot slightly grainy red paper strong okay feel strong so so tap into your emotion like what what does it feel like um, not just the emotion so the feeling could be emotional feeling or it can be a physical feeling or can it be an impression okay hands tingly warm and sensual okay now what you want to do is you need to um you need to make a difference or you need to separate your anal an analytical and your conditioning from actual feeling Okay, so what I mean by that? So many people say, oh, red is the color of um, uh, love or something like that, or a color of, um, just go with that, okay? So they say red is a cover of love, but that is actually a society, what society or how we condition to think of the color. Okay, so, so when, you, when you start thinking about that, try to put it aside and then go deeper and then really feel what the color is, is, is uh, doing to your body or doing to your mind or doing to your consciousness. So yeah, so so far you guys are doing great. Uh, you say um, hot, uh, fuzzy and warm. So those are our feelings. Those are all physical feelings. Uh, tingly hands, creamy, okay? So everybody has a different one. So don't listen to what other people are saying and how they feel. Just really go inside yourself and then feel grounded. Yes, yeah, so, and then really you know, feel what this color is doing. To you and then mem memorize that feeling okay i'll give you a few more seconds i'll let you memorize that feeling so you're familiar of how it feels when this color is shown on the screen right now calming okay so remember that feeling okay so now i'm going to show you another color this is green it may look different on the camera but okay um and do the same thing now forget 
what you just did with the red. Now let's go with the green and then take a deep breath. And then just imagine you are absorbing this color into yourself right now. So absorbing it, take a deep breath and then absorb it into your face and absorb it into your, your, your fingers, absorb it into your organs, into your skin, into your bones. So absorb it throughout your whole body. And then I want you to also tell me, uh, how do you feel? What is the impression? What is the feeling, either your physical or emotional feeling that you feel from this? So Breno says protective, so it's relaxing. Uh, feel it on your face, excited, okay? What else do you feel? Calming. Now notice the difference between the feeling of this color and the feeling of the color before this one, okay? You guys are feeling, you guys can notice there's a difference, right? Clean shower, yes, passion before, okay? So take a few seconds and I want you to really tune in to that feeling you have right now with this color and then try to remember that and make a, like a register that into your consciousness. Now let's do one last one, okay? So blue, all right, I want you to do the same thing with blue. Now wipe out, you know, just forget about green and now think about blue. All you're thinking about is blue. And do the same thing. I want you to breathe it in, let it go into your body, your fingers, your face, all your organs, your, body, uh, your, your skin, and your bones, and so on. And then I want you to feel, tell me what you feel. Uh, oxygen pure, what else do you feel? Cool, okay. Around my jaw. Yeah, so you wanna, you wanna um, notice where the feeling is because sometimes it's different. Some people say, oh, well, blue, I feel in this part of my body, and uh, red, I feel this other part of it. So just think about blue, and then notice where you are feeling it. How intense is it? What kind of feeling is it? Is it numb? Is it uh, cooling? Is it warming? Is it, uh, is it fuzzy? Is it hard? Is it solid? Is it soft? Is it, um, so think of all the adjectives, the adjectives you can think of. Is it electric? Is it magnetic? Is it fresh? People say it's clean. People say it's soft, uh, watery, right? So it, how about watery or it could be um, sometimes it can even be a smell, like maybe you have a smell, you can sense some kind of smell, or you can sense some kind of a sound. So it could be even sound. Maybe you hear a different sound or have some kind of different impression in your ear. Um, when, so, so try to open up all your senses, right? So it's, I want you to not only just see the color, but be more aware of what other senses uh, are, are, are observing this color, right? Um, what kind of feelings, your emotions, what kind of uh, physical senses, what kind of a uh, sound, what kind of taste, maybe you might even taste something differently or what's it smell like and so on, okay? So just take a few seconds and then really go into each one of your senses and then absorb that and, and then really feel what this color feels like. So you guys remember that? You guys have uh, those three impressions? So now I want you to close your eyes, okay? Try not to cheat, okay? So close your eyes and I'm gonna hold up one of the colors. So don't look at the screen for the next, until I tell you to, okay? I'm gonna hold up a color to the screen and I want you to use your senses and try to identify, uh, without using your eyes, okay? Try to identify what the color is I'm holding up, but just using the senses that you just used. Okay, you guys ready? Close your eyes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show the color now, okay? Okay, so now try to feel and scan your senses and scan and see and feel and hear and taste what this color is doing right now to you. So take a deep breath and, and then do the same thing and then draw that, this color, whatever it is, draw it into your body right now. See if you can identify those same senses that you identified with one of the colors. So use your senses without your eyes. Use your senses and feel what this color is right now. So if you have a color in your mind, I want you to just, um, you know, say that color out in your mind. Okay. You guys ready? Now, open your eyes. Who felt that it was green? Flo got it. Justin got it. Whoa, Lanny got it. Brandy got it. Wow, Michelle got it. Stephanie got it. 
Amazing. Crispy. Third one. Okay. Me. Awesome. Wow. That's amazing. Linda got it. Stephanie got it. This is crazy, she said. Marie said, is see yellow? Okay, that's fine. It's pretty close. Deborah got it. Mary got it. Holy cow. So most of, a lot of you got it. Isn't that amazing? So you, you just prove yourself you have a second ability power. Well, you can say, well, there's only a 33% chance, right? Because there's three colors. Flo said, I had a sense right before you even pick it up. Yes. Yes, some people do that. Um, some can do that. And then actually everybody can do that. The reason is because we are connected to universe. The color of this, uh, this piece of paper um, in universal. And then you, it, your mind is not limited by time. Your mind is limited. It's not, there's no limit. It can go backwards in time. It can go forwards in time. It's present in the moment. It can go into different places. It can go into, um, you know, you can travel to other planets if you wanted to. You can travel to another city. Okay, you guys are amazing. You guys are like amazing, guys. Okay, let's do one more color. And um, you can st start doing this and pra playing this with your friends. You know, start with three colors. And then as you get better with it, you can, you can get more colors and test different colors, right? All right. Let's refresh our colors so we remember what they are. So we have blue. Okay, refresh yourself so you have a recollection of how that feels you guys got it okay next one green just refresh your feelings so you remember what that feels like okay and then red now refresh your feeling again for red okay you guys ready let's do one more okay you guys ready so close your eyes same thing i'm going to pick a color and i'm going to show it you guys ready? Okay, close your eyes. Okay, I'm going to hold up the color and use your senses now. So now, just uh, imagine that this color is going into your body again. You breathe in, nice big, big um, deep breath. And then just imagine this color is going into your body, your skin, your organs and everything. And then use your senses to scan all your senses. Scan your um, your feelings, your emotion, scan. It could be a memory that it triggers, or it could be a sound or a taste or, a, you know, a certain vibration in a part of your body or tingling. Okay, just relax. If you feel that there's some kind of like confusion, just take a deep breath and just let it go and just go back to a relaxed state and don't think, don't talk. Don't have any internal dialogue, just feel. Okay? Just feel the color. You scan your senses and see and scan and feel what this color is. Okay, so you guys can open your eyes. All right, who got red? Wow, Justin got it again. Lani got it and Breno got it. Well, Flo got it, Anthony got it. Linda got it. Stephanie got it. Holy cow, again. Okay. Awesome, guys. You guys are amazing. Thomas got it. JJ got it. This is amazing, guys. You guys had no training, and you guys are able to do that. I love that. It felt irritating. Amazing. Martin, orange. Okay, I opened my eyes fast that time. <laughs> Christy. Okay, so a lot of you guys got got it. That's really good, guys. That's that's totally amazing. Uh, and that's t if you got both, that's two out of three. That's like, well, first of all, if you got one, that's thirty three percent chance. But if you got two, now you you basically um, beat the odds, right? And the chances of that happening by accident is quite low. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, and what does this mean? Is that you can train yourself. Let's say, let's say you didn't get it accurate. Let's say uh, you, you saw orange or something like that. Well, this is kind of orange. So make that mental note so that when you feel that again, and that whenever you feel that, oh, it, I feel it's orange, then actually it would turn out to be red. Then, you know, make that recalibration so that when you feel that again, you, you know that, oh, that's actually red, it's not orange, okay? So it takes training to, to get good at this. And, um, you know, beyond colors, the next thing you do is you start to do shapes and the next thing you do is start to do 
letters and numbers because guess what? Everything has a feeling, okay? A number has a feeling, a shape has a feeling, right? Like if it is a square, there's a feeling to a square, right? People say, oh, it feels like solid, it feels, um, you know, grounded or a triangle, it feels like it's pointy. Okay, so everything has a feeling and and once we get to tap into that part of our consciousness that just uses our feelings and using our senses rather than using our eyes, then this whole new world opens up, doesn't it? And what that also shows you and what that also gives you the comfort that, you know what, there's this universal energy that's real because I can use my psychic ability, I can use this superhuman ability and eventually what we're going to find is that it's not superhuman, it's just human because we all can do it. We all have the ability to do this and we all have the mechanisms inside our, our consciousness, which I just showed you today, to do this stuff. So people say, oh, that must be superhuman, but it's not superhuman because it's just human. Anybody can do this. So how come not more people are aware of it? But I think I really think that everybody's aware of it. Everybody has intuition. Everybody has this spiritual connection, but just not everybody is willing to admit it. It's not that everybody really believes that it actually works or it actually is um, happening. A lot of people observe it and they kind of just brush it off. Oh, it's just a coincidence. Or a lot of people um, feel it and they say, oh, it's just my mind or it's just playing tricks on me. Um, or this is impossible. I, I, and then they, they kind of like push it down, right? Push down what's actually happening, push down the truth. And then, and then that's fine. If you want to live that way, that's, that's fine. If you're happy that way, that's fine. But then for me personally, and I know a lot of you as well, you want to know the truth. You want to know what is the truth of the universe. And you want to be able to tap into your true potential. And you want to be able to become the human or become the person and the being that you are meant to become. And if you're able to access this other part of yourself, this, this super consciousness that is already in you and be able to you know, develop that and to grow that, just imagine how much more enjoyable and how much bigger and how much more reality that you can experience in your life. That's what I want to do with this, with this community. Today is the last um, live cast and I don't know when I'm going to do another season. Uh, I want you to, you know, join me in this journey because what started me in this journey is to first, you know, heal myself. And then once I heal myself, now I have this energy to create things like create this webinar, create these products, create this community. And after I create things, then, then I, you know, I want to really help you to become superhuman. I want to help you to really transform you in the way that, you know, most people would say, think is impossible. And, you know, a lot of people, they, they see our product and, and they, they get interested or they start buying it because they're curious, they want to know what it's about, or they just have some um, sleep issues or they have some stress or they want to lose weight, but that's all great. And it does all those things. But, you know, what I really want to do with this technology is really, you know, heal the whole world and also be able to help you to achieve your superhuman potential. So Sandy says, I want to know the truth. No more hidden, no more lies. That's right. So, yeah, I want to thank you for, you know, join, you know being with me and then following me uh, through these episodes and over the last couple of years. And um, I've learned a lot and I know that you've also learned a lot. I think we're in the beginning of something very big and this thing is just about to explode. And but I need your help to do it. I need your help to, you know, tell more people about this and to bring more people into this community. You know, give them that, the, the chi coils, you know, get them to learn about chi coils, get them to learn about what I'm about, what I want to do, what this community is about. And uh, we need you. I can't do it alone. I can't, I can't, you know, do everything by myself. You know, I've done a lot by myself. I have an amazing team that is uh, helping me do this. And, but I, but, but still we need more people to help. We need more people to become, you know, leaders and more people to really become ambassadors and to go out there and then, you know, share this thing with other people. So very quick, I'm just going to show you, um, what we are offering for a very limited time for until, I think until Monday. 
Okay, so we're doing a very limited release of the uh, the the Qi coil superhuman system. All right, so it's basically the regular Qi coil system, but then we're offering this psychic ability bundle and the super brain bundle. So you're probably wondering, okay, I, I like this psychic stuff. I like the, uh, expanding my mind and developing these like sense extra sen uh, super senses, right? Well, we actually have uh, frequencies that help you do that. We have psychic activator, divine intuition and instinct, astral projection, pro teleportation, lucid dream inducer, amethyst crown chakra activation, third eye opening and pineal gland opening, right? Somebody said third eye uh, earlier, right? Well, this we have frequencies that help you to open that third eye. We also have psychic shield and mental telepathy. So all this is part of our psychic ability collection. Normally it's not available to the public, but we are making it available for just a few days. So if you want to get this, um, now is a really good time to get these. We're also gonna make available the super brain collection, which has a uh, brain optimizer, memory and cognition, intelligence, stamina, mental stamina, mental concentration, brain and nerve support and problem solving. So the superhuman system, you can just go to superchicoil.com. It's uh, available for only a limited time for a few days only. After that, we are going to remove it from uh, from sale. So you can't buy it after that time. Okay. Uh, so if you want to go there, you're going to get to here and then you can see uh, the systems that are available or you can get the frequencies. Like if you already have a Chico system, you can just um, add these frequencies and start using these frequencies with your system. And these frequencies also are gonna be available for a very short limited time. So you see available for a limited time. Uh, once once um, uh, it expires, we're gonna remove it from the site. And the reason is because we don't actually want too many people to get this right off the bat. Um, we want to test it out with a small group of people first. Okay, because these are just incredibly powerful. And we'll, if you want to, you know, do more of the, you know, the psychic training and the and the vision training, and then you use these frequencies, they will accelerate your progress a lot more. All right, so you can go to, if you want to know where to go, it's just superchicoil.com. How can you get these? So just go to superchicoil.com and then you can go to the website and uh, you can order them, right? So you can order the, whole, the system starts at 595 and so on and go all the way up to 3395. Um, or if you already have a Chico system, you can just buy the frequencies and, and start using them with your system. Linda says, uh, I would love to get one of your systems. I want to heal FSHD, muscular dystrophy, and improve my abilities. Yes, you can definitely um, try to do that. Uh, Marie says, I do want to be one ambassador. I believe this is professional health being. Yes. So um, we have an affiliate program. Just go to the bottom of the website and you'll see affiliate and you can just uh, become an affiliate for free. Uh, Flo says, do you have a special webinar to teach us exactly how to use frequencies without the device? We have an FAQ for uh, specifically for that. So if you go to our page, you go to FAQ here and you go to Chico user guide um, and you go down to how to use frequencies, how to use meditation frequencies here. It says how to use meditation frequencies detailed guide. So there's you just read that and that will explain to you how to use the frequency. It's quite a, actually quite uh, in depth. All right, so you don't need a webinar. You can just read that. Can they be used with the Oracle? Absolutely. If you want to broadcast the energy everywhere, for example, I'm actually using the Oracle right now. I have two, right? So they're actually playing right now. And I feel great. I'm using the luck boost one right now. So yeah, you can use the frequencies with auto coils. You can use them with resonant wands. You can use them with any Qi coil system. You can use them without any technology. You can use it just with the sound as well. Uh, so if you want to just experiment and you don't want to you know, buy a system for 300 bucks, you can just buy the frequencies um, or you can even download the free ones and see how they work with you and, and, and you don't have to invest any money um, but I really highly recommend that you get this um, superhuman system because it's only going to be available for a, th a few days. We do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you change your mind, no problem. We just, we just um, you know, return your money if it doesn't work for you. But everybody says, no, I'm going to keep it. No, no, you know, I want to keep it. Don't you? If you pay me money, I'll still keep it. <laughs> uh, I have the pro coil, but I'm still very confused as to how to use the many frequencies. Uh, yes, there's so many frequencies. So that's 
that's the good part and also the, the, the bad part. I would, I would say it's more good than bad, but many people are kind of overwhelmed with, wow, you guys got 151,000 frequencies. How am I ever going to use them all? Well, just, just start with one or two and just, you know, that you really like and just keep using that. Uh, and then eventually you use more. So um, if you want to learn how to use frequencies, yeah, read the FAQ again on the page and it's going to make a lot more sense to you. Brando wants to know, uh, can the addendum programs be used with the Oracle? Yes, you can use uh, these uh, new, um, uh, these limited release ones that I just showed you. The Psychic Ability Collection, brain, uh, Super Brain Collection, these are going to be available for a limited time and you can use them with Oracles and you can use them with Resonant Wands. Uh, Martin says, I already have the Chico. How much is the superhuman frequency? That's at $199. It's $199. And you get actually many frequencies with that collection. Okay. And if you want to get the Super Brain collection, so this one's the Super Ability, the one here, Super Psychic Ability collection, which has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight very powerful. Uh, psychic ability frequencies and that's all together for 199 uh, and then we also have the super brain which is really uh, helps you to enhance your brain function uh, or, or you know all the things that your brain can do so they're both very powerful uh, but slightly different and that's also for 199 so you can get those Justin says thoroughly enjoyed this thank you David you're welcome Thomas says does she call require batteries or plug into the wall socket to work so they don't require batteries. So Chi codes are like this. And then, so here is the app, the Chi code app, right? And you have all the frequencies in here. So you connect them to, to a uh, um, power kit, which I don't have here. Basically they connect directly to the coil and then it runs off the, the sound, the energy or electrical current comes from the, the phone and it goes into the coil and turns it into magnetic energy. So it turns the sound into magnetic energy. So you don't need batteries, you just need a phone to do it. And you can bring it with you, it's mobile, it's compact, and it looks really cool, and it and it's uh, very powerful. Uh, we have a something called a high power kit, which is like, um, which is something you do plug into the wall, and it, and, and it increases the power from the, uh, the cheek holes even more. So either way, you can either use it without plugging the wall, or you can use it with plugging into the wall. Questions, uh, do you ship worldwide? I think we ship to most countries. Uh, you know, maybe there are some, some uh, countries we don't ship to, but I think most of the major countries we, we ship to. What did you heal yourself from? I had a chronic digestive disorder for 10 years that had no cure. And I used, I tried every kind of medication and went to many different specialists and they didn't help me. Um, I was able to use this technology using frequencies to heal myself completely in 90 days. So that's what happened with me. And ever since then, I've been developing this technology and then sharing my story uh, with people like you and then helping other people transform themselves as well. And uh, when using the neodymium magnets with the cheek holes, is it safe to use several of them at once? You can use as, yeah many of them once, but when you have many of them together, they tend to snap together because they're so strong. So just make sure they're you know far apart so they don't snap together. Linda says, this was great. Thank you. You're welcome. Anna says, are these included whoever purchased VIP group? Uh, yeah, if you're in the inner circle, you already have these frequencies. Okay. So, um, but very soon, uh, we may not have any more people uh, allowed into inner circle anymore. So we may be closing the, the door or inner circle. But if you already got in, then that's great. You, you already have these frequencies. And if, and if you want to join inner circle, you can still join once now um, while this door is still open and you will get access to all these frequencies and actually a whole lot of other um, frequencies that are only available to uh, inner circle members. So I'm making these available for uh, just a few days to the public. So. Um, if you want to get these again, I don't know when, I'll, when I'm going to release these again. Roger says, how do I add frequency to my app, to the app on my phone? Uh, we are doing an update very soon where you will be able to access these psychic ability and super brain uh, frequencies on your app. We'll just wait uh, a few days uh, and then it should be up there or you know, at least 
at least a few days. It could take up a couple of weeks. But for now, you can just um, download the frequencies as MP3s and you can just use your phone to play the MP3 files or your computer. Ship to Australia. Yes, we ship to Australia. Jim says, please create frequencies that neutralize negative habits or addictions. We have that already. Lucky for you. Uh, just go and search habit in the store. And then we have this one is called Stop Addictions, Cravings, and Bad Habits, Sober Living. And this one's only $27. So go ahead and get that if you're interested in it. Uh, can you purchase frequencies forever in the app or is it subscription based? So part of the app is subscription based and then, but some of the higher quantum ones are lifetime. So you have to buy them once and then you can unlock it forever. Which frequencies do you use or recommend for digestive disorder? There's uh, one I specifically use is called um, intestinal, uh, intestinal inflammation. And it's on our Rife app. So you can download that app and test it out. Stephanie says, how do we join Inner Circle? Inner Circle, just go to davidwonginnercircle.com and then you, you can apply uh, while it is still available. So just go to davidwonginnercircle.com and apply for that. So it's only by application because we don't allow everybody in and we uh, don't always have it available. The door is not always open. But right now we're still accepting a few more people. So if it's there, if you can see the application form, go and ap uh, apply right now so that you can get in. Which is best for digestive issues or do you have a metal metabolic enzymes or digestive enzymes frequency? Uh, I wonder, if, I think, let's see, we have the suggestion. I think we have a digestion frequency in here. We do, so we have um, digestion here. We actually have two versions. We have digestion and we have digestion, two, two versions. So this one is, um, these are rife frequencies, okay? And then these ones, this is a higher quantum frequency. So there are two different versions of it. So you can get both of them and test them out. Rosetta says, I want money health. How long does it take to work? That really varies from individual to individual. Some people can feel it instantly. Um, and those are usually people who are already energetically uh, activated. What I mean, like those people who, you know, usually have uh, a uh, stronger intuition or people who have you know already have some sort of um, super sense and they can sense things more than other people they can sense energies those kind of people they can in, uh, feel it instantly but even if you are not that kind of person that's fine just keep using the chi coils and eventually something's going to trigger and something's going to activate inside you there's some people that say you know that try to uh, the chi coils for for like a month and then um, they say, I still don't feel anything. Well, that's okay. Just keep trying because once you get it, you're going to have it for your whole life. Once you activate that you know, ability inside you, once you activate that, um, that energy, the chi energy inside you, it's going to stay activated as long as you keep using the coil, or as long as you stay healthy, and as long as you, you know, have good habits, it's going to stay with you for your whole life. So... Even if it takes you, you know, two months, three months, or six months, or even a year, and to use a chi call before you feel something, it's still worth it, in my opinion. And I think a lot of you uh, agree with me too, because I was I was chronically sick for ten years, and I was searching for so many different things, and it took me forever to find um, this technology. Right? It took me ten years, but the thing is, I never gave up. And once I found it, and once it worked for me, it just completely changed my whole life ever since then. So like a lot of you using Qi goes, some of you can feel it right away. Some of you takes a week or two. Some of you try it for like two or three months and then you say, oh, I still don't really feel it. But the thing is, a lot of times you is actually, you do feel it. It's just that you're not really looking inside yourself, you're really identifying and scanning all your senses. Okay, just like, just like what we did today with the, with the colors, right? I, I taught you how to, or I, I, I showed you how you can scan your senses inside you scan every every sense that you can feel and many people just don't do that they just say oh i don't feel it i don't feel it it's because they're not really looking deep inside themselves really scanning your senses and once you start scanning your senses you may start to notice hey wait a minute actually there is something there or i actually do feel something or i actually do have this sensation so there's an faq on this just read the faq uh on the chico user guide 
and it says, how do I feel the uh, energy? Uh, if I use the energy for, uh, if I use the chi I don't feel energy, what, how do I do, how do I feel the energy? So breathe through that, and it's gonna help you to scan your senses and to see um, how it's actually affected you, okay? So long story short is that it affects everybody. If you don't feel it, that means maybe you haven't activated that part of your, of your senses yet. Uh, but eventually, if you just keep using it, you're gonna start activating it, you're gonna start sensing it. And once you start sensing it, it's gonna change you for the rest of your life. So don't worry how long it takes, just you know, keep using it, and, and eventually you're gonna get there. And it's gonna be completely worth it. Just, that's my promise to you. Uh, how many different frequencies can I use in one day, same day? I wouldn't use more than like five different frequencies in a day. Okay, I think that's you know, more than um, enough for it as an amount of different frequencies. Um, I don't think you need more than that many frequencies in a day. You, you know, if you try five in one day, maybe you can try, uh, I, and I mean like try for an extended period of time. I don't mean like just, you know, scrolling through it and just listening to it. If you're doing that, you can do as many as you want. You can just listen to it for 10 seconds and say, oh, I, I like this one, I don't like this one, and just keep scanning through them. You can do as many as you want for that. But if you want to actually like, uh, work with them and actually um, absorb that energy or, or, or resonate with that energy um, you don't really need more than five okay okay so so the right frequencies can be used with the chico yes absolutely that's why we have the rife chico system so you can use the device frequencies with chico yes definitely uh, it's incredible the teaching of frequencies and healing understanding and appreciation of your keen intellectual understanding thank you marie sharpens your application to what is on atmospheric information. Thank you, Marie. And it says, our previous webinars posted on Inner Circle. I've missed important and interesting when I was driving and in, in cities. Yeah, uh, all of our webinars are posted in our Facebook group, Facebook page, and uh, the Inner Circle meetings are posted on Inner Circle. So just go back to those uh, Facebook pages and groups and you will see them. Marie says, you can heal, attune the universe energy. Yes, I can. Uh, okay. Marie said, uh, Michelle says, do the chi codes have different power strengths? Yes, they do. So you can see that we have different versions, right? We have the mini, we have the um, the chi code two, we have the chi code three. So each one is a little bit powerful, more powerful than the other one. So if you want the more powerful one, you can you know, get the higher system. Can you recommend hair growth for receding hairlines? Oh yeah, definitely. We have um, frequency for hair. And I was able to regrow my my hair after going bald in the back of my head. But it took six months though. But I was able to regrow hair from this bald spot. I actually have photos to prove it. I'm not going to show you that now, but I have pro photos to prove. I had a bald spot and it grew back in six months. Completely gone now, right? You can see all my hair is perfectly normal in the back. I used to have a bald spot there. <laughs> Marie says, uh, just remember it's past quantum physics if that's possible. Thank you, Dr. David Wong, thank you. Okay, Thomas is asking, are the frequencies audible or unaudible? Other people can hear it in the same room. If you're playing it as a audible frequencies, then yes, they are audible. But if you plug in the chi coil, then it's not audible. Some frequencies are so low though, even if you play it on the device or play it without the chi coil, just as a sound, it's so low, like 20 hertz and below, that most people cannot hear it. Does that answer your question? Okay. Did you invent the Chico and frequencies based on your engineering background? Uh, yes, I invented the Chico based on engineering background and the frequencies based on more of like the engineering, uh, I mean, more of the musical background. Um, I work with scientists who develop these things. I work with them to, to create them. Mary says your chakras are lit. Yeah, it's an interesting, it's right in the middle. <laughs> How long does it take to get used to using the frequencies? That again, depends on person. Some people, they can get used to it right away. Like some people, I was just talking to a shaman who's quite popular and he, he says, yeah, this is great. This is, um, this is what I, you know, very quite used to, but you know, using uh, psychedelics and stuff like that. But now actually I can feel this with just a frequency without using any herbs. Uh, I can just use the frequencies. So, so some people are already used to these kinds of um, experiences, whether it's through through psychedelics or through some other meditation. And then when they play the when they use the frequencies, they say, oh yeah, this is a, this is exactly what I 
you know, usually get, but now I can, you know, and amplify it with um, these frequencies and with the cheek holes. And so they get used to it really quickly. So, it's, but some other people may take maybe two or three weeks to get used to it. Do all three work with fat loss? We actually have a fat loss system if you want to get fat loss. Um, so just go to our website and just search for weight loss and then you can see our weight loss system there. Yeah, Rife has a COVID frequency. If you want to test that out, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, you're welcome. Where's the link to the coil? So just go to superchicoil.com. If it's not working, just go to Chi Life Store to get to the coil. Okay. So the link again is this one here. www.superchicoil.com or Chi Life Store. Jim says, when I use the wellness two and exercise frequencies, there are a lot more than just five, a lot more uh, and a lot of five second frequencies. Okay, Stephanie says, is it safe to sleep with the chin coil playing certain frequencies on repeat all night? Um, yeah, I think it's so. Just don't keep it too close to you. I would put it like on a nightstand or somewhere, um, you know, further away so that, um, you know, it's not too strong. And I wouldn't, and I wouldn't turn it up too much. I will turn it up to like 25%, maximum 50% power if you're going to use it all night long. Yeah, it's been a great journey and I hope to see you soon. We're going to be moving to, I'm going to be starting to do a lot of TikTok videos. Uh, I'm planning to do that. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, so go to tiktok.com at Chi Coil. I'm going to post this on the page. So yeah, it was been, it's been a great journey. I had a lot of fun. Um, and I feel that I've accomplished something really amazing uh, with all these webinars and I want to thank my team. I want to thank all of you who have been with me on this journey and that have been supporting me and that have been, you know, buying my products and then helping this company grow. Uh, thank you to, for, for following me and for believing in me and believing in this product and, um, joining me when, when everybody thought I was crazy and when everybody thought that I was out there and nobody believed that this weird thing would do so much, they uh, made fun of me, made stupid comments on YouTube. Um, but you guys st stuck with me along the way and you guys said, yeah, this is great. And you guys actually took the leap and trusted me with uh, what I was saying and trusted me with this technology and then, and then purchased it, invested your own money to you know, into this technology to have it. And so thank you so much for, for believing me and, and supporting us uh, with, with your purchases, with your investments um, into, into Qi Coils and to Qi Life, okay? So yeah, I hope to see you really soon. And I really look forward to even meeting you one day in person. And until next time, use the Qi and prosper.